Hey guys, what's up? And this is Pennsylvania Picker Tanner here. And today we went to. Actually, no, I should say. I wanted to make this video such a long time ago, but, um. I put everything back in the box. No, I, sound, I know this sounds corny, like it's not really an unboxing, but I wanted to do this, but sadly the Pennsylvania Pickers didn't exist at that time. So. I'm going back and doing an original unboxing of everything uh, that I got that day, which was a total of three items, all in their boxes, mint condition, with manuals and everything else. So, I got a Game Boy deal with two box games, Caesar, uh, Caesar's Palace and Golf, and then I got the Game Boy boxed with a really in like a really good condition box for twenty dollars. And so let's take a look at the Game Boy first. I'm gonna open it up. Then you got the uh, styrofoam box. Nice clean tabs on the end. I'm gonna take this off. Has still has all the things in it for uh, Nintendo of America, um, Nintendo Power, and stuff. And it has um, a mini poster for the Game Boy, which I was going to plan on hanging up, but I never got the time. Uh, it shows now you're playing with portable power, and it shows all the different. Uh -huh, black box, I would call them games for the Game Boy, which are Super Mario Land, Baseball, Alleyway, Tennis, um, and then a few other games that aren't on here. But then it advertises things like the carrying case and the rechargeable battery pack. So yes, um, that is the little poster. Then we got the manual for the Game Boy itself and the manual for Tetris, which Tetris was an in uh packed in with the Game Boy. So here's the Game Boy itself. Um as you know I've already had this out, it works. Um I love it. I've I usually I play it quite often in the car. Take it everywhere I go. Well not everywhere, I shouldn't say. But and here's uh, the bag to the earbuds. Uh, I couldn't really find them. I couldn't find them to put them back in the box for this video. So there. And then there's Tetris in its carrying case that it came in. Uh, then the extension cord in its wrapper. And so that's it for the Game Boy. Just got to put everything back in now. I'm just going to leave this out of the box for now. Then we're going to move on to Caesar's Palace and Golf. So let's start with Caesar's Palace. Now I know that Caesar's Palace didn't, I don't think, came with a uh, dust cover. I'm not sure. I don't think it did, but don't quote me on that. Uh, no, no, it didn't because I didn't include it. So here's the Caesar's Palace card. Good condition. And here's an ad for Nintendo Power. And here's the manual. Just gonna leave that out of the box. And then we're gonna move on to Golf. Golf had the uh, dust case. But anyway, here's the manual. Not in too rough of shape. Just a little bent corners. Pretty thick for a Game Boy. Then here is an important notice little slip of paper that shows you how to correctly insert a cartridge and then how to use the contrast and stuff. Here's golf in its dust case. Good condition. All of these games were in good condition and I was so glad to pay twenty dollars for them, especially for the games and the mint condition sealed Game Boy. So that is it guys um, for this unboxing video. 
Um, again, I know it sounds corny going back and uh, unboxing them again, even though I've had them in for my possession for two years now, but I've wanted to do this video for a long time, and like I said, the pickers didn't exist up until I think almost a year ago now. And um, so I'm glad to have this time to finally do this. So thank you guys. Um, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, share with all your friends, you know, spread the picker word. And I'll see you guys next time.